So I got carried away, but I'm going to finish this up, man. I want to ask you again. How is thinking about work the same as doing it? And let me ask you, who's going to pay me to sit at home and think about their job? It's not the same as doing it. But people want, see, this is what, y'all, this is what I notice about y'all. This is how I know the world is going to soon come to an end. What I'm noticing on YouTube, what I'm noticing on Facebook, what I'm noticing on all the social media is that people rather criticize and compare than accept, accept and embrace the truth, whatever it is. And embracing it means that you got to start living by it. People rather just find fault with each other. Somebody say something about you, find a fault with them and and be done with it. That's why when you see me putting people on the grill, it be mainly going by what they said. I, I be critiquing what they said and things that they do. And I do it without doxing because it's all about what the truth is. But most people can't do that. Most people, they want a jockey, it's like a bunch of rats. This, this, you ever seen like a movie with a bunch of rats, how they be like just for no reason at all stepping on each other? That's what people do. For no reason at all, they'll try to step on you. And that's what they was trying to do today with these comments, which we finna get back to. I'm finna prove to y'all what I'm saying. I showed y'all a couple of them already, and I'm gonna wrap this, I'm gonna wrap this up in like 10 minutes. So, getting back to the comments that people been making, a lot of the people have watched my video on marriage. And YouTube has allowed people to see it. It says, a married man's testimony, I guarantee you this will help you see the truth. 1700 views. So, I'm currently out of the office. Focus on the blue sky. Thank you. Some of the stuff was kind of funny. With family and friends. Wait, hold on. Tell a story, and I would call this. Let's get back. Wait, hold on. Why is it? I want to get back to the comments. So, another person says, Great testimony. So many gems. We can't Mr. or Mrs. right. We can't make Mr. or Mrs. right. People always show you who they really are and we need to believe them. I'm divorced, but talk myself into marrying a woman I met in Germany. This is Waltman3988. I had ulterior motives. I wanted to get the military benefits of being married. See how he being honest about it? You see how he being honest. Therefore, the first woman that treated me okay and could cook, I planned to marry. I didn't think we would stay married forever, and after 18 years, I just let it go and filed for divorce. In order for a marriage to work, you both must be moving in the same direction naturally. Do you hear this man? This man been married 18, he was married 18 years. He said, in order for a marriage to work, you must both be moving in the same direction naturally. Now, that is wisdom. That's what some of y'all, by your comments, you don't understand. You got to be going in the same direction. See, that's part of it, too. I'm not finna work no job, no 30, 40 years. I've always been a businessman. Y'all get what I'm telling you, right? You can you can you see in between that? I'm not finna work no job, no 40 years, and come up short at my own doing. No. If I'm gonna come up short, I'm gonna come up short going long. Pause. I'm gonna come up short going for my. You gotta be in the same direction naturally. I shouldn't be coming to you. Hey, I got this business idea. This business idea. This business idea. This business. 
you either get quiet or no, I don't think you should do that. Or you'd be like, uh, dude, you should do what he doing. He doing what? What? Y'all, see y'all, hey, listen. Y'all don't know. What you don't know make you look stupid. As a woman, here's another one. With kids, this is, she just was responding to what I said about Suda's fad. She said, as a woman with kids, this is Alec 2935, and a lot of sinus, sinus issues, it is highly unlikely that Sudafed caused a stillbirth. This is just what I thought. However, when we are pregnant, she said, we are told, hold on, there are lots of medication to avoid or limit. But again, that one is doubtful. Sorry for your loss. Pregnancy is complicated, and sometimes things just don't go right. Shout out to you. You see how, man, you see, see, you can almost tell sometimes what kind of person a person is. Now, she didn't agree with me, but she didn't disrespect. Right? She didn't say, well, I, I can see why your wife don't. She just said, she stated what she said. You see that? Now, let's go back to some. Great content, OG. This is Billy Times. I just don't understand why us men get married three or four times. It's beyond me. I don't either. And I don't, I can't see it happening. To me, if I remarry the two women, it's going to be just like a second marriage. Because like I said, if I get married again, it's going to be the two women at once. And I'm going to have a ceremony where I'm going to put the, the crown on their head and the ring on their finger. And if they want to switch up on me, I'm going to take it back like, what's his name? Sweet Daddy on Good Time, the coat. And remember he took his stuff back from, Jay, uh, from JJ? I'll take my stuff back from him. I want the crown back. I want the queen ring back. It's beyond, it's beyond me too, man. Uh, let's see. Jerome Walker says, yes, it is true. I will never marry in the United States again. It is not for men. You will lose everything. Hey, and that happens to a lot of men. Jerome Walker understands. He's been watching. He probably doesn't seen it happen to his friends, relatives. It's not worth it. You think you're going to be just smashing her. You think, you know what I mean, putting it all in her butt and doing all nasty stuff. But most of these women, they're going to they gonna shut down on you. Y'all argue, she ain't going to have, I'm going to fix him. I ain't going to have sex with that ninja for three months. She do? That's okay. Keep your little stuff. Squish. 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 <laughs> Look at this, Jay Sanders. Y'all both were immature. How can you say that? How can you say that? Because things changed. That that don't mean people are always immature. Things just change. Billy Dave Hart, love big bro. Most definitely kick some beautiful game right there, man. Man, shout out to you, man. Love. Man, I got love on you, too, man. All these people ain't against me, man. I got people, man. But I need y'all to be in them lives. I need y'all to super chat. I need y'all to cash app. And I need you to start sending super thanks. To help me build my little setup up. Help me do my thing. I ain't no grifter. I don't grift. Watch, y'all going to still see me out here working. And even if I get big time, I'm still going to have businesses. I'm still going to mix things up. I'm, I, don't, I can't see myself ever just doing YouTube. I can't see it. Okay, look at this. We at the nine minute mark. We're going to go a few more minutes. 
DJ D. Spitz says marriage is just a business, y'all. Been saying that since I was a teen, and grown people still didn't figure that out. He's right. If marriage wasn't a business, right, why y'all talking about marriage license? It's all about what God see you as, right? The marriage license gives the lawyers, the judge, and whoever is rewarded alimony and child support. That's all business. Money, when money is involved, you got to call it business. Even jobs, in some cases, are business. So, more comments. Caleb Pate said, needed this. Ain't married, but needed these. See, guys is waking up, man. They don't have to agree with me. They seeing something in their lives. Just showing them that what I'm telling them, what these other guys on YouTube is telling them, is the truth. It's plenty of us, man. You got these couple suckers that want to get rid of the red pill. What? Are, okay, okay, so everybody that hate the red pill, right? Okay, so if you get rid of red pill, what have you accomplished? What have you accomplished? Have you helped men? If you get rid of red pill and this kind of talk, red pill, whatever, real pill, the black ram or whoever else, we all together, ain't no competition. It's all to help men. Black pill, red pill, real pill, purple pill, whatever pill. If you get rid of red pill, you get rid of all these pills. Are you going to help men in their lives? Are, is that going to help men? But if we all became simps tonight, if we got him with a simp spell, is that going to change the world? Is it going to make the world a better place? You know what? Guys still going to be messing with other women. Women still gonna be holding that little stuff hostage. And some of y'all stuff, I guarantee you, I ain't even gotta see it. I know it ain't cute. I know it ain't cute. You can't keep cutting something, cutting on something, and it be cute. That ain't gonna always work for y'all. Some of y'all probably got discoloration. I can see if you a bigger woman, you got a little discoloration in between your thighs. Hey, I, I don't, hey, listen, I don't got a problem with that as long as it ain't dirt. But you keep swack swacking, and that's your choice if that's what you want to do. All guys don't like it. Y'all think every dude want to go down there and see this little bald, little flytrap looking stuff. Every guy is different. Now I be hearing dudes talk about they want it to stink. I don't want it to stink. But it's stink gang dudes out here apparently. I be seeing them. I be in them lives. But it's like a mistake that people make. When you think that everybody is thinking the same, you are already losing. I ain't mad at y'all for not agreeing with me. I'm mad because if I know the truth, I want y'all to see it too. And the truth is, Marriage don't benefit men. The only way a marriage is going to benefit a man is if you marry a rich unicorn. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you how. If she's a virgin, rich, and a unicorn, oh, man, you coming up. You moving up in the world. Give me something like that. I probably would even get a marriage license. If she going to stay like that, because if she's rich, if she's richer than me, guess what? I flipped out, turned the tables on you. You know, I, I still would agree, you know, we can come, we can leave one. But I'm not taking no loss. 
it's some situations where alimony is sufficient, where they probably should get a little bit. But most of what I see, they getting over. Fat rats. They getting over like a big, fat, stanky rat with a long tail. A long pink tail and big ears just stick out. A sewer rat. Man, I've been talking a while. I had to get on some hills. When you don't know all the details, it's like kind of keep, it's culture for you to keep, you know, kind of keep it respectful, keep it under wraps. Y'all women, you should not always take other women's side either. When they wrong, they wrong. I don't take guys' side all the time. I don't believe, like, you think I'm going to take up for a dude that beat up his wife? Does she, I can see if she just attacked some of these women strong. And she just attacking you, trying to beat on you, and you try to get her to stop, and she won't stop. But you beating her up because she won't listen to you, that ain't the way to go. Man, just get rid of her. Move. I don't take their side. But some of these women, no matter what, we got to stick together. Let's stick together, ladies. No. You know what's weird? I got a couple women that, that, dab, that deal with them tarot cards. I don't know if they trying to get me or they just trying to support me, but how are they sharing my videos and the rest of y'all ain't? Do y'all agree with me or not? Like if you agree with me, then let somebody else see, see what somebody else think. Hey, I'm finna send you this video. Tell me what you think. Oh, I can't get past. He got a curl. Man, that's your first mistake. How a person's hair look, you won't listen to him, man. You go. You gonna take the mark of the beast. I don't go by hair. I don't go by height. I don't go by... Wealth status. I go by what you saying and how I can use it. Whether or not I can use it. Y'all be ignoring good content creators because y'all look at their subs and they don't got that many subs. And so y'all overlook their videos. And some of the smaller content creators, they a few pieces of equipment and learning a few things away from blowing these other ones out of the water, man. I be looking at some of these bigger content creators sometimes. Sometimes I be liking what I see, but sometimes I be like, that just seemed repetitive. And it's alright to repeat yourself if you're telling somebody. Some things it's alright to repeat yourself. But I shouldn't be hearing the same thing from 10 different people. All of y'all, if y'all saying some of the same things, y'all still should be saying a whole lot of different things. Like, I done heard good catchphrases. That's what I, a lot of stuff, them catchphrases. That's why they call it catchphrase. Like, one of the best ones I done heard, Anthony Spade. If she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. That's a good catchphrase. See, that's the type of stuff that separates you. Creating words. 304. We already know that's Coach Greg Adams. It's good. We ain't going to... Let's get off of that, though. We ain't going to keep bringing up other content creators. But y'all get the point I'm making, though? If you won't listen to me because I got a curl... Okay, let's talk about my curl for a second. Y'all want to know why I did this? I done had locks down my back 
I got extensions. And guess what happened? My hair grew into them. I said, you know what? I don't want the little little thing. I don't want to go through that process. Just, I told her, I said, just, just give me the extensions. And she twisted my hair up I had. And I came here, it was funny. I came to work with long hair. <laughs> and people was trying to rip. Uh, they was calling me Black Jesus. But the reason why I did this is because if I get a bald head, I'm in the clique, I'm in the crowd. If I get locks, I'm in the clique, I'm in the crowd. If I get a Caesar, not many people are doing this right here. They might start. Watch, my stuff going to be long. You don't think I was uh, uh, one of the debarges or something. I'm going to let it grow. And I'm going to keep getting it rolled up. Because one thing I want to show y'all is everybody that got this hairstyle ain't no pimp or no player or no shysty preacher. People going to see. You get to know me, you going to know. you. you this is a solid dude right here. He got a curl though, so what? That bother you? If that bothers you, you narrow minded. See, I think a lot of these guys are trying to look alike and trying to look how the popular look, but it don't bother me. But anyway, I gotta go. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, listen, man. You can't take up for my soon to be ex wife. She's not a horrible person. She's just, what happens? Relationship fail. If y'all, most of y'all would like her. You would. But, who knows? Maybe when she gets with somebody else, you never know. She might get back to some of that stuff. It, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be right. But what can you do? Should I? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to be this ASS. No. He won't have to worry about me touching him. Just stay out of my way. You're not my kid's daddy. You deal with her. If you, if you mess around and get her pregnant in her age, you ain't finna have my kids uh, no slave. Staying in the house all day. Can't do what they want to do. Trying to take care of your nut. Then we going to have to see. We going to have to see how much of a man you is. You start doing that. That's how I look at it. If he stay out of my way. I'll stay out of his. Leave my kids alone. You're not going to be under the same roof. And a real man. Would tell. Like if, if I got. Let's say I got with a woman. That had young kids. And their father was a good dad. He was in their life and stuff. I would be like, why don't you let them live with their dad? Why are you trying to get money? Let them live with their dad. That's what a real man would do. A real man ain't going to start something. Man, I don't care. What are you talking about? This is my house. Yeah, okay. Okay. See, people be starting stuff, man. And the thing about starting stuff is you might not finish. That's why I ain't never been the type to start stuff. You ain't gonna finish. I done seen videos and I be looking at that like, man, I, I dare somebody to do that stuff to me. Like that one dude, this monk, I would've, he wouldn't even got all them sentences out. I would have knocked half his teeth out. Because I would have, look, people be like, why well, you got a snake? Listen, man, fighting is fighting. So should I say, okay, I'm going to hit you now. All that stuff that dude was talking on that video. Whack, whack. As soon as he staggered. Here I come, Terrence Crawford. 
Terrence Crawford, bing, 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 bing. What should I do? All right, I'm gonna give you a chance to recover. Dude talking about these, my kids, gone somewhere, all that. I look like, I would have looked at him, smack, smack. He would, oh, bing, 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 Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford would have came over. And when you get hurt with Terrence Crawford, it is over. I knew when I saw Spence getting hurt, I said, he finna lose. And don't sleep on Spence. That's just how good Terrence Crawford is, man. You can't get hurt with this. You want to have a chance against Terrence Crawford. You got to keep him from staggering you. Because if you get hurt, just like Boots. Boots, I want to fight. I want to. Look, if Terrence Crawford hurt you, it's going to be the same thing. And Boots is good. But Boots ain't never really been hurt yet. He been, he been hurting other people. He ain't really been hurt. But against Terrence Crawford, he gonna get hurt. 